This video is going to be a quick breakdown demonstration of my workflows simulating sand and footsteps in Houdini. We will cover pop grain, geometry deformation and rendering in Karma XPU. If you want to check out the Houdini hip file at your own pace, feel free to get it on my Gumroad shop, link is in the video description. I took the foreground dune geometry and cut out a section where the lion is walking on. I am making use of the intersect node inside a sop solver to accumulate footsteps over time. The dune geometry's Y position is moved to the Y position of the intersecting foot geometry, like this. I also export a blur attribute by using XYZ distance. We will use this for smoothing and displacing the dune for more detail. Outside of the solver, let's blur the position using add blur as the weight attribute to smooth out the harsh cuts and add some turbulent noise to the area around the footstep by remapping and ramping the blur attribute. This adds a nice edge and high frequency detail. And now for the fun part, simulating actual sand grains. The idea is to fill each footstep with grain and let the lion step into it as the collider geometry. Then we let the deforming footsteps reveal the grain simulations below. Let's fill those footprints up by grabbing the first and last frame of the dune geometry, merging them together and fusing the points to get a watertight mesh with air pockets inside. If we convert this to a density volume, we get density inside the footprints that we can use to fill it with grain. The next steps are quite straightforward. Run simulations each footstep at a time. A pop grain node that controls the sand behavior, pause and the dune as colliders and gravity is all we need. To speed up the process, it helps to use pop awaken. By using this awesome node, we only simulate the area of interest and increase stability in the sim. Don't forget to set all particles to add stopped equals one. Remember when we cut out the dune geometry? Now it's time to work on the other half. I painted a density mask where I want to scatter points and blur it a bit. We're gonna use these points to copy the line power too. So let's grab those paws, time shift them where one of them is in contact with the ground, blast away all other three and transform them so they are at the correct scale and rotation. We can steal the deformation setup from before, point warp, position blur, etc. But this time without a solver, because everything is static. Okay, let's quickly recap what we did. First, we took care of the main deformation, using the intersect node and some clever blurring and displacing. Then, we run the grain simulations for the high-res detail sand inside the footprints. Lastly, we faked some pre-roll animation by copying a bunch of lion feet around the dune as if the lion walked there before. Nice, we got some nice looking sand deformation, but let's add more fidelity and visual interest by adding some more grain for sand kick-ups. I took the paws, scattered some points on a frozen frame, and then point deformed them with a moving paws. This is faster and more consistent than scattering on the moving geometry itself. A trail node will calculate the velocity for us, which will be useful for controlling the source as well as the pop simulation later on. Using XYZ distance once again, I calculate the distance from the points to the dune and remove all the points that are not close or moving too slow. Additionally, I remove ones that are moving downwards because I only want sand flying up into the air, not down. I am setting an initial p-scale value, which is necessary for the pop grain to properly work. Inside of the dopnet, I have the usual stuff, like pop grains, pop drag, pop speed limit for safety measures, and the colliders again. The dust simulation is nothing fancy, and something I don't want to showcase in detail in this video, since it's more about the sand and grain. Basically, I use the kick-up sand simulations, rasterize velocity and density, and run a basic axiom simulation on it but you can do it with Pyro as well. Finally, to render all of this, I brought everything into Solaris, set up materials for the environment, played around with lighting, and I split everything into different render passes to have ultimate control in compositing and to avoid unnecessary re-rendering in case something goes wrong or it doesn't look right. The layers consist of the background dunes, the deforming dune geometry in the foreground, the lion on its own, and the effects elements, so grain and dust simulation together. Here I am using either mats or phantoms to exclude or mat out certain elements of a layer. 
Comment down below if you would like to see a more detailed description how to set up render layers like these in Solaris and Karma. I am definitely no compositor, so I just merged all layers, did some basic color corrections and some lens effects like blur, soften, glow, etc. Alright, this wraps up the video how I created Sand in Houdini. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to check out the hip file in the description, feel free to do so on my Gumroad shop. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and bye bye.